Hello my beauty addicts, welcome back. Today I want to show you um, my drugstore haul. I have been picking up things here and there throughout the month of December um, since the beginning just to try out new drugstore products. I have been buying so much high-end products that before I officially put myself on a budget for 2015, I wanted to get a few things at the drugstore that I've been meaning to try. Um, some things obviously have not come out yet that I wanted to get, so I will probably get them in the new year um, whenever I find them, if I ever find them, because some things I can never find. So I wanted to show you what I have here from the drugstore. Some of the products I have used, some of them I have not, but I wanted to show you guys so then uh, you guys can keep an eye out for them in my Sunday loves to see if whether they're worth it or not. A lot of these products, well I'm going to say all of the products that I got, I got on sale at the drugstore so I really didn't pay full price for any of these products at all. Also, um, I wanted to just let you guys know about the hair. I got a haircut on Christmas Eve and I tried to do something short but not too short and something with layers in it. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I feel like I look like a helmet head but my hair grows so fast that I wanted something where when the baby is born it is long enough for me to put up in a ponytail but still have some sort of layers in it because this will grow out into long layers. So I felt like maybe this might work. I just have to get used to it and you know how like the first week of you getting a haircut you kind of have to get used to how to style it, how to curl it. So I'm in the process of that. So this is my new do. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. I don't know. I'm still on the fence. A lot of all my family members like it. Something different. Um, I did get bangs but I put them to the side. They're like short bangs because they grow. I'm telling you my hair grows so fast and it's not because of the vitamins. In general my hair grows fast. So I'm just going to see how this works. So anyway, now that I've gotten my hair out of the way, let's get started on the haul. First thing I want to show you, I got this from Milani. This was 75% off, so this was like $2. Um, this is the Medium Tan Multitasking Face Powder. I have heard Sarah Jones from Print, Polish, and Shine use this as her bronzer. So I wanted to give this one a shot, especially if it was only 3 bucks. Why not? So I picked that up. This is the only Milani product I picked up. So if you see it in your CVS, um, they're all, all the colors are 75% off. So pick one up if you are interested in that. I'll swatch it real quick for you guys. It is super soft. I really like it. I didn't try it on today. I forgot to wear it, but it's really nice. It's really nice and soft. So that's what it looks like right there. The only thing from Maybelline that I got was this um, limited edition Master Highlight Finishing or the uh, face powder. I had seen this when it first came out in the collection. This one's called Illuminata 252. And I wanted to get this when it first came out, but I decided not to. And then I saw it 40% off at Rite Aid, so I had to get it. So this is, I am wearing it as my highlight today. This is more of your rosy gold highlight it's really pretty I really like it if you guys can find it I would definitely recommend it it's definitely more of a pinky rose gold it kind of matches my shirt very lightly applied it doesn't look like it's really rosy on your cheeks but it's super pretty this is limited edition so if you guys can still find the display for it I would recommend it and I got this 40% off so I figured I'd take advantage and get it because the last limited edition one that they had of this I really like that I got a backup for it's a gold based one and this is more of a pinky base so again this one is Illuminata. I picked up a few CoverGirl blushes. I saw that these were on sale for $2 a piece so I picked up a few of these and I haven't purchased any CoverGirl blushes in a really long time. They did come out with it looks like a few new colors. Um, I hadn't seen these um, at any of my drugstores. I found these at Walmart surprisingly. I had to go to my doctor's appointment on Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas Eve and there's a Walmart near my uh, doctor's office and it's like half hour to 40 minutes away from where I live. So I took advantage because that Walmart is a lot nicer than the one by my house because I hate going to Walmart. So I took advantage and I picked up a few of these so I wanted to show you guys. The first one I picked was Natural Shimmer. This is nothing special but I liked it because it kind of is like a highlight. So I purchased this 
to use it as a highlight so it's right there obviously covergirl blushes are not that pigmented but if you build them they are beautiful so i really like these and originally they're like four dollars so i got these for like two bucks a piece so i couldn't help myself so that's the first one the next one i picked up is iced cappuccino which is what i'm wearing as a blush today and it's so beautiful i never owned this one before it's really really pretty i'm not going to swatch it because it's on my cheeks i love this one very very nice and this one is pretty pigmented believe it or not so i didn't have to really work that one too much the next one i got is cinnamon toast this is a bit darker than iced mocha yeah definitely a bit dark darker so this one is not as pigmented as the last two and it does have some gold shimmer to it so it's like sparkle to it but it's not something obnoxious i don't know if you guys could see that it's right there i don't think you guys can see that this one i feel like i'm gonna have to work with um the next one i picked off was because ashley from texas mommy and boys keeps talking about it so this is soft sable she's obsessed with this one so i wanted to pick it up and it is really beautiful I really like this one a lot. It has a lot of sheen to it. So if you do not like any sheen in your blush, you're not going to like it. But it's right there. It's really, really pretty. So that's all sable. And then these last two, I'm pretty sure, are new. This one is golden pink, which I don't know why they called it golden pink. Look how dark that is. That's golden pink, and it's like a red-based blush, but it is so pretty. Let me see. I don't know if you guys see that. It does have a sheen to it. It's not as pigmented as I expected. I haven't played around with these, but there it is right there. So it looks like it is a light pink. It's scary in the pan, but it's not. Just work with this one. And the last one is Sierra Sands, which is more of a darker. This is the darkest one out of all of them. And these are really nice for the fall winter time. See how pretty that one is? And let's swatch this one up top right here. Yeah, that one's really pretty. It's right there. So that one is Sierra Sand. So I picked up a few of the blushes, obviously. Um, I have quite a few and I really do enjoy a lot of them. So I just wanted to try some of these neutral color based ones. Some of the ones that I hadn't seen for $2, you can't beat it. Now on to eyes. Um, Revlon was having a sale 40% off, so I decided to pick up these um, Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art things. And I've been looking at these for quite some time, but I never wanted to pay the full price for these. And since I had extra bucks, coupons, yada, 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 I got these for a steal. I think I got these for like $4 a piece, which is, I think is an awesome deal. So I picked up five colors. I picked up like more of the neutral colors. I didn't want to pick up any pink, purple, blues because I knew I wasn't going to wear them as often and I am wearing one of these on my eyes. And let me tell you guys, these are awesome, awesome. So the one that I am, uh, well, let me see. The one that I am wearing on my eyes is called Burning Bling. It's beautiful coppery red. I use the side, the cream side, and it is on as a base. If I left this, I topped it with something else I'll show you in a minute, but if I left this on its own, it is amazing, super pigmented. One dot can go for both of your eyes. It blends really nicely, and it's not sticky or tacky. It it settles, it like sets pretty quickly, so you have to work with it a little bit fast, but it really is pigmented. Oh my gosh, and the metallicness of it is just amazing. If you can see it on my eyes, I love these. I haven't used the glitter side, but I'm sure it's going to be really, really pretty. So this is the first one I got. It's uh, Burning Bling. The next one I got was um, Peach Prism. It's more of your peachy one. That one's really nice. I could see that working with a lot of light colored um, eyeshadows. The next one I got is called Gold Glitz. It's your gold with your black silver sparkle um, glitter. So the one side is a glitter eyeliner and then this one is a doe foot applicator for you to place it on your eyes. The next one, obviously my favorite color is green, is Desert Dazzle. And I really like the, the glitter to this. This is more like a green gold glitter. It's really pretty. So that's the next one. And the last one, obviously I had to go with my traditional. It's Black Radiance, so or Black Brilliance. It's your black base with your silver sparkle eyeliner. So I got those. 
Now the next product is these NYC, um, what are these? What are in the world are you guys called? Oh, Sparkle Eye Dust. These were 40% off, so these were like a dollar something, and I've always wanted to try them, but I never did. I am missing one color. I don't know where I placed it. It's like the champagne color. I picked up four of them, and today the one that I used was Pink Topaz, which is what I placed on top of that Revlon uh, Cream Shadow. These are your, these are like powdery. I don't know if you guys can see that. When you pop it open, there's a, a bunch of powder comes out of it, which I don't like that because it can go into your eyes. If you are a contact wearer, I probably wouldn't recommend these to you unless you're going to be like opening these up far away, then placing them on there. But they are pretty pigmented. I'll show you this one. They're really pigmented. And um, if you pack them on some cream base, I think that you'll like these. See how that one's really, really pretty. This is the one I'm wearing on my eyes today. It's really nice doe foot applicator um, for a dollar something I wanted to try them out see if I could use these in a tutorial for you guys I'm trying to find more affordable things um, for you guys and if you don't mind a bit of fallout a bit of powderiness a bit of falling out all over the place like as far as in the air these aren't too bad so I got pink topaz I got smoky topaz which is like your taupey color I picked up, oh, this one, this one does not have a name, does it? Let's see. You don't have a name. I'm assuming this is like a coppery color. This one doesn't have a name on it. So that one's that one. And then this one is Amber Glitz, which is your uh, goldy, reddish, pinky color. And then I had the Champagne Toast, which I don't know where that one is at the moment, but I did pick up five of these. So... These are the colors. They have blues, they have purples, they have black, silvers. I just went with these colors, the ones I knew I was going to use the most. So I picked up those as well as I picked up a few of the NYC trios and of the quads. I am constantly hearing Emily Noel talk about these, so I did pick some of these up and I am wearing these on my eyes. Um, I have used, where is it? I picked up four of the trios. Again, these are 40% off, so these were like $2 a piece, so why not? This one that I am wearing on my eyes is called Long Beach Sands. I have worn this on its own all by itself, and it did last all day. It blends really nicely. There is a, it's a powdery, it kind of reminds me of Wet n Wild as far as the powderiness, but it really is a nice product. Like this brown one, look how pretty that is. The brown one here is a swatch of the highlighted one and then this one which is what I'm wearing on my inner corner and my brow bone. So look how pretty that is. It's really nice. They are soft and when you do place your brush in there, you do get a bit of kick up of powder but it blends really nicely, very pigmented. She is right, these have come a long way because I've never liked these before in the past but since she's raved about them, I wanted to try them. So. I got this one, Long Beach Sands, which is what I'm wearing. Well, part of, of what I'm wearing. Then I also picked up Bronzed in Brooklyn, which is like your bronzy colors. It's really nice. Then I picked, what is it, Central Park Plums. This is really, really pretty for a smoky eye. I'm probably going to do a tutorial with these for you guys. And then this one's Late Night Latte, which has like your taupey color, has your dark chocolate, and your highlight. These do not have any sparkle to them, and there are no mattes in these, but because it is very, very, it's like a satin finish, you can get away with using these as a matte. It's really pretty, and you don't get a lot of shine and shimmer on your on your face. Like the Wet n Wild ones are beautiful, but you get a lot of like shimmer and sheen. If you don't like that, these will probably work better for you because they don't have that the bam in your face kind of thing. Then I also picked up the the quads that she's been raving about. And I picked up the four colors. I think they had like five or six. I only picked up four of them. Only picked up four, really, Alex. Um, I have, and these do come with a matte, and they do come with um, they come with a matte, they come with a a primer, illuminator. So it comes with a highlighter, all over lid, crease, and uh two crease colors or contour colors. And it'll tell you on there, it brings a little packaging inside that tells you this one I just threw out because this is the one I'm wearing. 
This one's completely matte. This highlight bra uh, brow bone's completely matte. And these two have a sheen or shimmer. I have not used any of these. These are cream based. I can care less about them. I can care less if they dry out. I'm not interested in those at all. I'm more interested in the eyeshadows itself. So I did use these two today. Really like it. Very nice. This one is called Union Central. And this one, it, it tells you it's created for brown eyes. I just go with what I like. I don't go by that. See how it says created by brown eyes? I don't care about that. So that's the first one, Union Central. This one is called Individual. Oh, this one's Smoky Browns. So this is your smoky color. Very pretty. And I'll, and I'll swatch the first one for you just so you guys can see it. This one's Soho Grand. It's your purples. And the last one I picked up, Best of Broadway, which is beautiful. This one has like your... Your goldy color, your burgundy, and your green. Very nice. I like this one a lot, so I definitely want to use this one. So I'm going to swatch real quick the one that I already have used and opened up for you guys. So you guys can see the pigmentation on these. And these do not have as much kick up, like as far as the powder, as the uh, first ones that I showed you. Obviously, swatch these aren't the best, but on your eyes, they really do work well. See how they are there? So this is um, this one is Union Central. I could see a lot of people using this one. It's very pretty. The last thing that I picked up that was eyes was this Maybelline Sh Sandstone Shimmer. I really thought I had this, but I guess not. I didn't have it in my Maybelline collection, and I really wanted to wear. I've seen a few people do tutorials on them, um, so I picked this one up and. Um, I wanted to give it a shot. There are no, there are absolutely no mattes in here, but they're really nice. So this is definitely a beautiful color. I really thought I had this. I guess not. So I picked that one up as well when it was 40% off with the Maybelline stuff. So I picked that one up. And now on to thy lips. So I tend not to pick these jumbo sticks that much anymore because I have so many but the first one I picked up was this Ravalon one this is from their lacquer bombs um, the newer ones that they came out with you know how they came out with matte and lacquer ones this one I have worn and I really like how it looks it's a very natural kind of um, pinky based um, look at my hair pinky based uh, lips and this one is called 105 Demir and I purchased this one because my friend Chelsea from Ch Chelsea Gary keeps talking about this one. And I loved how it looked. As soon as I got out of the store, I put it on and I really liked it. Very nice. I know they talk, a lot of people say that this has glitter in it, but it didn't at least leave it on me. It's really, really pretty. I like this one a lot. So this is the first one I picked up. The next three that I picked up were from the L'Oreal Glossy Bombs. I only own two of these, so I wanted to try... Other ones, this is 200 Lovely a Mocha is what I'm wearing on my lips today. Very nice, very moisturizing, and it's very comfortable to wear. So I love this one. I really like these L'Oreal ones. So that is Lovely Mocha. The next one I picked up was uh, Baby Berry. This is a really nice alternative for a red lip. It's really pretty. And these have a lot of shine to them. And the last one is Petite Plum. And I keep hearing so many people talk about this one, so I really wanted to pick that one up. So that's Petite Plum. Very, very nice. I really like these. If you haven't tried those, I would pick at least one or two up. Very, very nice. Also from L'Oreal, first time ever picking these up. I've never tried these, and I heard Lisette's Beauty talk about them. How much they last so well on her on her lips they don't transfer so I only picked up three colors of these these are the L'Oreal these are the new packaging of them the L'Oreal infallible lip lipsticks let's see yeah infallible lipsticks so the first one I got is called everlasting plum very nice look how pretty that is everlasting plum I might go back and pick up a few of these because these are really nice. The next one is called Persistent Plum. Look how pretty that. Oh my goodness. These are really nice. I can't wait to put these on my lips. And the last one I got is Bold Bordeaux. Ooh. Can you tell I'm into that vampy stuff? 
So those are the three that I picked up. Very nice. Look at that. Oh, I am loving those. Those are, I really like those. I might pick up a few more of those. And the last things that I did pick up were the new Maybelline Rosy, excuse me, the Rose, what are these called? Color Sensational, I don't know, the, the Rose things. I only like three colors, but it was buy one, get one half off. So obviously I had to pick up a fourth one. So the first one I got is Peachy, uh, Peach Poppy. Peach, yeah, Peach Poppy. This is like your neon, neon peachy color. I could probably work with this one. This is the one that I just picked fourth because I just needed to pick something else. Uh, but these three are the ones I really loved. Uh, Blushing bl uh, Bud is really, really nice everyday color. This one looks really pretty. So there it is right there. Rose Rush is the next one I picked up and I haven't worn these but I have swatched them so I knew these were really nice and the last one that I got was Orchid Ecstasy which is really really pretty kind of reminds me of Brazen Berry already from the line the uh, the orange tubes but I really like these. I love Maybelline. Maybelline has really nice lipsticks. So those are the four that I picked up. I think there's about like seven. No, I think there's ten in total. I only picked up four of them. I didn't need all ten because I knew I wasn't going to wear all ten. So these are the ones that I picked up. So that's what I picked up so far at the drugstore. Um, I think um, I may go back and try those new Revlon lippies that everyone keeps talking about. I did get the... Um, what are they, the CoverGirl Lip Lava Lip Glosses. So you'll probably see like a swatch video of those on my lips. And then when I go back to doing my Sunday Loves, I will let you guys know what I think of those. So I did, I think I'm going to pick up those Revlon ones because I still have some extra bucks that are going to expire literally probably today or tomorrow. So I have to use them. So I'll probably go and get some of those things as well as um, let you guys know what I think about those CoverGirl Lip Lavas. Other than that, that's all that I basically collected throughout the month of December for a uh, drugstore. It looks like a lot, but I really didn't spend too much because I got everything either 40% off, buy one, get one half off. I had 25% off coupons. I had 20% off coupons. I had $4 off a of 20. So I really got a lot of savings on all the products that I did get. Some of these obviously I got at Walmart and some of these were 75% off. So it was a definite steal. So let me know what you guys think of what I got. Um, let me know if you want any reviews on any of the products. Do you want to see any tutorials with any of the uh, NYC eyeshadows that I did use? I have been playing with a few and I love them. I absolutely love these Revlon stick things. They're gorgeous. I think I might um, end up doing a tutorial with those. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great New Year's. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to comment, like, and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.